Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Stinger77, and today we're back in the Redstone tutorial world. And we're going to talk today about the repeater. The repeater is a very, very a useful component, and it's used pretty much in everything that you build with Redstone. So we're going to talk about that today, okay? So the repeater, let's go put this down right here and put it facing this way. What is the repeater, okay? Well, the repeater has basically the function of repeating Redstone signals. It has a way of powering signals. It has a way of keeping signals from going backwards. It also has a way of being locked, okay? And I'll explain a lot of this as we go on, okay? But first, how do you make it and where do you get it, okay? As you saw there, I can break it with just my fists. You can break it with pretty much any tool and that's fine. Now, how do you make it though? What it is, if you go into the recipe, I need to get a crafting table. I don't have one. <laughs> Or did I put one over here someplace in the last video? I don't remember. Okay, so what you do is you take three stone, okay, just like you do for the stone slabs. Put two redstone torches on each side, and there you go, redstone in the middle. You get a redstone repeater, okay? That's pretty easy to do. The other way that you can get repeaters, though it's not very common, is if you find a jungle temple. You can run into the jungle ruins, jungle temple, and in there are some traps, and if you go in there and mine, you can find some repeaters. That's the only place that I know of where you can find repeaters in the Minecraft game. If you know about any more, put it down in the comment sections and uh, let everybody else know. Alright, the idea of the repeater is it's kind of like a signal booster in a way. I'm going to put a redstone block down here. It's used to power things, and we'll talk about that in another episode, I think. Now if I put redstone here, if you recall my last video, the redstone powers, but as it goes along, it runs out of power. And you can see this one is not showing any of these uh, particular little um, particle effects. Let's say we have a lamp here. Even though we have power, it's not getting there, right? What a repeater does though, is it basically, as long as it gets a little bit of power, it boosts it back up to the full signal. So if I put this here, it's going in and says, hey, I've got power, and so I'm able to provide power. Now, I'm gonna go around the corner here. Even though we ran out of power, if you recall, we're not at, we don't have any power here. Actually, it's probably, bad spot let me grab another block here there let's extend this out a little bit okay so here's where we're going to put the repeater eventually and if you watch here and here's our redstone lamp say we want to put it there in some design that we have the signal is stopping right here it doesn't go along but if i take this out and put a repeater in it boosts the signal back up and you can see it get lower and lower and lower that's the basic idea that the repeater is used for it is basically keeping the signal going, repeating the signal, boosting it back up to full power, and powering something else. The next thing that's very useful about the repeater is the fact that it has an ability to delay. Now, right now, you can see there are two torches here on this repeater. And if I right click on this, you can see this moves to the side, okay? Here's the closest that's one, two, three, four, okay? Now, what this repeater does, kind of under the covers, is it puts delay in when it fires, from when it receives a signal to when it fires it. When it's in the lowest position here, the one, it actually is two game ticks that it fires. And this is four game ticks, six game ticks, eight game ticks. You really, some people call it, this is one tick, two tick, three tick, four tick. But in under the covers, it's actually two game ticks, okay? So if you watch this right now, if I press this button, it's on the lowest setting. It almost instantly powers that light. But if I put it all the way to the end here, you can see there's more of a delay. Now, just to exaggerate this a little bit, let's put in a bunch of these repeaters. I'm gonna put them all the way to four ticks and you can see the delay go through it. Okay, we'll put some redstone so we can see it. And watch, I'll press the button. See that? There you go. That's a very interesting mechanic, isn't it? Because basically it goes all the way across and over and it comes back. Now this is sometimes used, and this is, I'll just put this as like a little side note. You can actually make some sort of like a clock going out of this. If I do this again, going the other way, okay, I'm not gonna bring the signal in, tie it over. So now when I power this, this all gets powered. It'll go through and around, watch this. See it lost power and it lit. So we've got a pulsing light just with adding repeaters to the situation. So this is a very useful tool having this ability to delay. Another very useful feature of repeaters is they only go one direction. If you notice when we power both sides here, it doesn't go back through this side. It counts as like a one-way uh, circuit. 
In circuitry, they call that a diode. It's a device that only lets the current go one direction. And so what's happening here is it's going down here, coming around, and going back. It can't go back through here, nor can it go back through here. So let's try to do something else here to show you that, okay? So let's put redstone on each side. Oop, that's not redstone, that's dirt and grass. Okay, so let's put here a, a, a block. Okay, now normally, let me take this out here for a second. If you power it, it powers the redstone lamp. Okay, but what if we have the lamp on this side and, and uh, power here? You can see it stops right there. It does not go this way. So this is a one-way circuit booster with a little bit of delay. Isn't that pretty cool? The last thing I want to talk about is locking. Repeaters have a very odd functionality that can be useful in certain situations, okay? And that is the ability to lock them in a state. Okay, so let's say, uh, uh, let's go with this, okay? So there's our repeater, and here's the output. It's going into this lamp. This is the lamp we want to power when this is on, okay? What you can do is you can pass a signal into the side. And when you pass a signal, watch when I power this. Let me put a, here, put a redstone here. You see how we have two torches on this repeater? I put this here. One torch is replaced by this, looks like a, almost like bedrock. Basically that means I'm locking that in a position that it currently is, okay? So normally, when we power this thing up, it would go through and power the block. But look, it's not powered. Because this is locking it in the state that it was when it was locked. And when it was locked, it was powered off, okay? Now let me unpower this. I'm gonna break this block, which will unlock this, and then it will act like a normal repeater, and it should turn the lamp on. And there it goes. Now, let's lock it again, okay? Now you can see it is currently locked, okay? Now let's uh, unpower this side. You would think that would turn the lamp off. And notice it is still on. The, the lamp is still on. Okay, so you can work some weird uh, redstone magic with the locking of the repeaters. Now, I rarely use this feature, but it is something to know about with repeaters because it could be useful in some situations. And that's all there is to it, working with the redstone repeater. It has many different abilities. Like I said, it can boost the signal of redstone back up to full. It can add a delay to redstone so that you can have some weird timings. And it also has an ability to lock itself into the state that it currently is in. That is fantastic. Now, I'd like to see some of your builds that you've put redstone repeaters in. So if you want to tweet me at my Twitter, Tinker77Live, yeah, you can do that. And it'd be great to see those, okay? Anyway, that's all I have time for for this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It only takes a moment and it really does help. Okay guys, that's about it. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.